Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy with Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters and um, I started this YouTube channel to hold myself accountable and um, be a part of this amazing community. Thank you to all my subscribers. I'm well over 200 subscribers, which is amazing. And if you haven't subscribed and are checking out the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And um, if you are a budgeter and have a YouTube channel, please leave it down below because I like to check out everybody's videos. So thank you again for everybody who has subscribed and is supporting my journey. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm a single mom with three daughters, although one of my daughters is, is grown and out of the house. So it's basically me and, and my two daughters. So what we're gonna do today is budget out our, my first paycheck of July. Um, again, I've showed this, this planner that I won in a giveaway with Mo Lifestyle. Um, Paper by Mo is her website. I will link it down below. Um, it is up. Um, she has, I think, a different um, budget binder now. I'm not sure if that's on there, but you guys could check it out. Please do. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I get paid on July 9th. I get paid bi-weekly. Um, I did my monthly spread already, so everything is basically um, all the revolving funds and whatnot is, is broken in half for the month. Um so I get paid my full-time job, $2,051. And then um, my one day a week at the post office, this is for the one day they owe me from June. Now they owe me two more on top of this. So this is for one day. This was a 12-hour day. So this includes overtime and double time. All right, so that comes to $23.84. Um, like I've said before, I have an auto withdrawal of $100 that comes out before this. So it's still $23.84. Now my monthly bills, I typically pay rent with one check and all the other monthly bills with another, but I'm doing it a little different this month because I know my part-time job, I'll get paid on the 23rd for um, basically two weeks of work. Not a, It's part-time, but it'll be, um, my income will be higher than what it is for this paycheck. So my monthly bills, my loan is, at, is gonna be the same It'll be $71, like always, every pay period. My dental will be the same. And T-Mobile will be the same. My electric, I, I moved up my budget to 110, unfortunately, because we run the, run the air conditioner so much. We're on the second floor of an apartment building. This actually bumped up to 142, so I'm definitely over budget there. And then the Wi-Fi is gonna stay the same. So, Seven hundred and thirty-one dollars. So if I take the twenty-three eighty-four, leaves us with sixteen fifty-three. All right. So debt and subscriptions. Kohl's. I used our Kohl's card and went over what we had in our clothing envelope um, last month. I think it was for summer clothes. For me and the girls um capital one i'm doing a hundred on this one the other one's not due till the first so i'm gonna hold off on that one i pass i always do twenty dollars a month in pay range i always do twenty dollars pay range is an app to do laundry in the building netflix is twenty three dollars apple is three dollars make sure you guys can see Audible is 14 and Grove was 39. Grove I actually forgot in my monthly budget, so that made my subscriptions total go up to 144. All right, so we are going to add this up. Two sixty nine. So that stayed the same. I guess I didn't need to add that up. Um, so we're at sixteen fifty three. So we have thirteen eighty four is our carryover. 
So then we're going to move up to our move over to our revolving funds. So um, the revolving funds, most of these, I think all the way up to close, I keep in my wallet. So food, we are doing 200, which is $100 a week. Gas, we're doing 80, which is $40 a week. Medical, we're doing 25. Gifts, I'm actually bumping this one up. My mom's birthday is in August, so I figure if I do 50 each paycheck, I'll have another 100 because it was depleted. My brother's birthday was at the end of June. So gifts, I really need to start bumping up more because we have a lot of, I have a big family. So um, pets, we're keeping the same. Clothes, we're keeping the same. Mine, giving, miscellaneous 10, beauty 10, landscaper 10. Landscaper is for my parents' property. I help uh, with my siblings. We pay for that. So... It was four seventy five. I only added twenty five more, so it would be five hundred. So we were at thirteen eighty four plus five hundred. We're at eight eighty four now. Hope you guys can see that. So sinking funds and the fifty fifty challenge. The fifty fifty challenge. I remember it totaled one sixty eight, but the sinking funds. So make sure everything's in. So car maintenance, I am doing $50. We're gonna add 50. Costco, we're gonna add 10. And Costco is just because, I don't go to Costco that often, I get gas there, but Costco is to um, help uh, when I do go because you know I bring my my food or grocery money and then I tend to overspend because it's Costco. How do you not leave there spending two hundred dollars at one time? So it's only got seven dollars in there. I'm adding another ten only, but it's something, right? So we're gonna add ten uh, ten more to family fun school registration. I need to get to a thousand within two pay periods. So we're gonna do two hundred and twenty five dollars. And then, um, because I know on the next pay period, I'll be able to do, I hope I can do a little more. Um, I have two cars to get registered. Um, the first car, we're doing $17, because that's not till February. And then the one for August, we're doing $25. Amazon Prime, I'm doing $18. Disney Plus is only $4. School supplies I depleted. We're going to go back up to $25 again. I did get my fourth grader her school supply box, which is a box you order and have it delivered to the school. And it has everything the teacher requests in it. It's a great box, but I'll still need to get her, you know, gym shoes, backpack, um, you know, clothes. And then also my high schooler, she won't know what she needs until she actually starts school. Both of my girls start mid to late August. All right, ID theft protection, I'm doing $25. I think that comes out in November. Glasses, I'm doing $25 as well. I'm trying to make up some of the loss from my last paycheck. Graduation party, I'm doing $29. Oh, and this wedding. Um, I've had a lot of comments about the wedding. My, my daughter is not engaged. She's 25 years old and been dating the same guy for a while. And of course, as a mom, I want to be able to help them. So my goal is to get to $2,000. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know when they'll get engaged and I don't know when they'll plan that wedding. But if I can get up to 2000 before then, I will be a very happy mom. Um, so graduation, I'm sorry, wedding is getting 86 because last paycheck, I really, I think I only put like five bucks in there. Halloween is a $10. And Halloween would just be for costumes or treats for a classroom. I don't even know if they allow that anymore, but all right. So those are all of our sinking funds. There's a lot, I have a lot, I know. All right, so we're gonna total this up. $559. All right, so 
we're at 559. All right, so we were left with 884. So 884 minus 559. And then the 168 for the 100 envelope challenge. We're left with 100 and $57 remaining. Uh, I don't typically leave this big of a buffer, but I feel like it's a good start because I do want more of a buffer. Um, so we'll see how this goes. And like I said, with my next paycheck on the 23rd, I'll get paid from my full-time job. The post office will be probably double what it is this time and then also my part-time job. So I'll be able to make up some of the losses out where I'm at. Um, also the child tax credit, um, that will be helpful because I don't think I'm gonna quite make it. Uh, 225 plus 225 is only, is four fifty. Actually, if I do 225 again, the next paycheck plus the 550 that's in there already, it'll be exactly a thousand. So I will make it, I won't need the child tax credit. Um, but I did also put off so the green is all paid this paycheck. Um, the pink will be the next paycheck. Capital One, half of the loan, um, 25 for that, and then the car insurance and half the dental. Um, I decided to pay some of them with the next paycheck knowing it's gonna be a little bit more than what it, had, it has been. And the child tax credit, I, um, I paid for some classes for my nine-year-old. She's taking some classes um, this summer. And so I need to replenish my um, savings account because I took from there and I figured, okay, when I get the child tax credit, I will just replenish that. Um, I hope this all made sense. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your comments and your likes and for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please take the time to hit that button and um, help my channel grow. Thank you all. Have a blessed day.